What have I created? <laughs> and we laughed. Davis and this is Taskmaster. I hope you don't mind, but I thought I'd take this opportunity to quickly answer some of the questions from members of the public. Here we go. Do I watch the show back? No, my physical decline is deeply upsetting to me. <laughs> Do I wear those socks by choice? No, I don't. It's a novelty format point forced upon me by those more excited by contrived broad eccentricity. <laughs> Three, is Alex actually tall? No, he's just over five foot. <laughs> Why do I keep insulting him? Because he's had a soft upbringing and it has made him weak. Now, <laughs> question's over. <laughs> Let's ask some more pertinent ones. Who are the five chosen ones who will dance through the fire of Olympic-level endurance this week? Well, I'll tell you. They are Julian Clary! <laughs> Lucy Beaumont! Sitting next to me, a man who once privately told me that if it was up to him, Scotland would be physically sawn off from the UK <laughs> and floated into the North Sea. To quote him, we'll soon find out how much they want independence when all they've got to eat is shortbread. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Little Alex Hall! Well, I'm very busy at the moment. Whew. I got asked to uh, do the Christmas lights in Cheshire, where I live. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So put them up. Put them up. <laughs> store them in my spare room, yep. where I was sleeping, so I'm now in the, um, in the living room. Yep. And uh, Russell Grant's turning them on. <laughs> Good. OK, let's move on to the prize task. Yes, please. I'm on it, you big bad boy. And today you... <laughs> you've asked them to bring in the best sign. The best sign will get five points, and the winner of the episode will take home five signs, and that's me signing off. Susan, welcome back to the show. Hello. Have you got a great sign? It's the sign of, of Cock Pond Clapham Common. Here it is. Ooh. A few years ago, I was like, oh, I was born in London, but I don't really know London. So then I started going on London walks, which is when you wake up really early on a Sunday and you follow normally a jaded actor around bits of London, <laughs> and there is a walking tour where you go and look at dirty signs um, around London. And uh, this is one of my favourites because I'm a child, apparently. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like cock bombed. <laughs> Thanks. You can quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sue, one full of cocks, can you beat it? <laughs> this is a sign from a well-known and beloved broadcasting institution. Here's Sue's sign. Do you remember that the BBC sold the BBC television studios? I do remember. Uh, yeah, and it was a terrible dark terrible day. Terrible decision. And yeah. uh, I filmed the last pilot in there. OK. On the day that it was shut down. Yeah. And when we came out, it was like the end of the... It was like the end of days. It was... It, people were just pulling down signs, pocketing treasures. They were basically <laughs> asset-stripping the BBC from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought, this is awful, and I can't... I, and I just saw the signs, and then Claudia Winkleman said, I'll give you a bunk up. And so <laughs> she, gave me a, she gave me a boost, ripped them off the wall, she took a stage door one, popped it down, and off we trundled. I mean, to be honest, Sue, Winkleman's got petty thief written all over her. <laughs> it's a great prize. It might get you a few points. OK. Sam. Let me take you away from this um, studio. We're at the British... the Great British Library. Wow. <laughs> Have you nicked that? Yeah. I mean, it's fairly irresponsible. You could. How good is it, though? Oh, it's great, Si. Please take care. The arts are slippery. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a European spy. <laughs> Be careful, Piazza slippery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a very slippery mission. <laughs> Lucy, what have you brought in? I've brought, um, I've brought um, a pub sign. OK. For um, uh, a home pub. Whose pub, pub was it? Um, ours, mine. Your one and your and husband's. husband's, yeah. It's a pub sign. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got a warm feeling to Is it. Is there a, a landlord or a landlady at the Dog and Bastard? Me. Well, it's nice because if you do get drunk, sometimes you forget you're not in a real pub and then... Like, there was one time I went to ring a taxi and someone had to say, you, you're next to your house, you don't... <laughs> you don't your pub. To, yeah. <laughs> 
That's a good sign. Okay. Julian. Oh, I think you'll like this. Um, <laughs> it's very endearing. It's a sign that I saw in the green room when I was at the Hull Literary Festival. A highbrow sign. Mm. You're in good company. <laughs> Here's Julian's sign. It's an unpretentious event. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually steal this? Do you no, have... I couldn't, because the artist wouldn't have known where to eat. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is low rent, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to do this based on which signs I'd like to take home the most. OK. I personally wouldn't want to post it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did laugh, so it seems really cruel, but I'm going to give Julian one point. Sorry, Julian. OK, one point to Julian. Oh, I understand. I don't want to take your pub sign, because I think it belongs on your pub. No, I've brought it. Ah, two, two points. <laughs> two points to Sam. Um, three points to Sam. Well done, Sam. I genuinely want that BBC sign, so I'm giving that five points, and unbelievably, I'm giving <laughs> Cock Pond four points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we are. There we are. So five to two questions. <laughs> On we go. Do you have something special lined up? Oh, I do. In fact, I'd go as far as to say it's legendary. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that! How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. What have you brought? James Bond would never go on a mission without his favourite gadgets. I've never seen him bringing a tape measure to a mission. You only measure twice. <laughs> this is my Excalibur moment. Maybe. Oh! I'm actually quite good with the sword. Why? Oh, cos I went to drama school. <laughs> I mean, no surprise, it's the first line. Pull the sword from the stone. Many have tried. You may not force the sword or break the stone. The champion is the one who releases the sword fastest. Your time starts... now. Can I have the sword, please? Go on, give me the sword. This is amazing. I feel like I'm in Dubai. <laughs> Sure, the <laughs> rulers of Dubai will be thrilled. Comparison. <laughs> 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 um, Susan, you seem a little apologetic about the fact you went to drama school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a source of embarrassment for no, you? No, 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 no. I'm in enough debt because of it. No, it's absolutely fine. Yeah, well, it really pays off. We could tell from your performance of the uh, Arthurian sounding, uh, can I have the sword, please? <laughs> Well, let's have a look. OK, then. And we're going to begin with Loose B and Sue P. Here we go. I mean, for form's sake. Ugh. It doesn't come on. No, it's a magic sword. So something releases the sword. Well, could it be Lucy? Yeah. Beaumont. So, clues. God, I love an old... Oh, my gosh. Yes! Join the Women's Institute, Darling Data. 990... 1000 B. That's just... Played in gibberish. None of it makes sense. I like it when I just get to run around. You can run around. That won't do anything, will it? Can I ring somebody? Could I ring the, women, the Women's Institute? Let's hunt further. Thank you for calling the NSWI. The Constitution related inquiries. I think it's that one. I think it's a Constitution inquiry. <laughs> Welcome to the messaging. Oh, service. God. <laughs> Alex, would you pull this cracker for me? Oh, I'd love to. Thanks, darling. One, two, three. Yay! <gasps> Which comedian knows how to make their, their hair, hair smart? smart? None of them. Is this relevant? What? Okay. Ooh. There's a cross. I don't even know what part of the world that is. Is that Africa? No. Is it Australia? No. America? No. Europe? It's somewhere in Europe. I don't think I can tell you much more than that. He's got an O. Uh. Wait a minute. I've seen little letters. France? No. Netherlands? Uh-uh. Moldova? No. Croatia? Ah, no. Is it the UK? There's an E. There's an I. I feel like I'm in James Bond. <laughs> no, it's in counties. Really? Cornwall? Devon? Devon? Devon! 
You made me say every country in Europe. I didn't make you say anything, Sue. I've got a D. So D W O I E C M B N N I. I'm just trying to make a word with it. Woody. Woody. Bed will we be? E. E Woody. E Woody Woody. Bed will we be? <gasps> That's got a D D. That's got a W I. Wid. E. Would you? Have you had, jo have you had Josh Woody come on this? Oh dear, it's so stressful. Boo. 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 I mean, I want to go Widdicombe. And what did he do once he had this, the sword? He ended up throwing it in a lake. <laughs> I keep little quotes um, during the show. I pop into the Taskmaster book of quotes and uh, yours, halfway through the task, really made it straight in, which was, I just like it when I get to run around. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yeah. What tipped you over into Whittacombe? Well, Whittacombe. Whittacombe, it's Whittacombe. Honestly, I don't know how I got to Whittacombe. 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 <laughs> Just, you know, after 15 minutes, she said, I think these are all clues. <laughs> At 20, 24 minutes, she said Whittacombe, but she didn't pull the sword out till 28 minutes. Wow. So, my favourite bit of the whole thing is when you realise what the answer is, <laughs> how, how long it took for your brain to compute. <laughs> yeah, I could have just swam in that time. <laughs> you want to know how long she took? How long did she take? Lucy did very badly, 28 minutes. Sue, 33 minutes and 21 <laughs> seconds. Wow. Most of it was that no, reaction. That was, uh, I was going to say, that's 10. <laughs> Will Sam and Susan work out his name any quicker? Let's find out. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a little shoe that says Greg on it. It's a little foot, yeah. Which comedian, comedian knows, knows how, how to, to make, make their, their hair, hair smart. smart? So that is absolutely not useful. A lot of them are well-groomed. Does that relate to anything? With diamonds come bears. That is gobbledygook. I don't know what that is. With diamonds come bears. We all know that. Is there a bear around? <laughs> all right, look at this. Catherine Nollies, 1983. What? Catherine Ryan. That's not got to do with hair. Bob Mortimer? Bob, that's hair. People who have won. Taskmaster. Is who I'm looking for related to Catherine? How am I meant to know that? Ed Gamble. <laughs> Sophie Duker. <laughs> Bob Mortimer. Still no. Rob Beckett. Richard Herring. <laughs> Catherine Ryan. Noel Fielding. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a champion who's missing from there that has won this show? But that just seems too inside baseball. <laughs> you have to watch everything to know. Comedian related to Catherine Nollies. Is that it? Yeah. Alex Horn. At last. Sucks. Sorry. Don't take that. Edit. Bleep that. Which bit are we bleeping? Bleep me. Just blow me out. Blow me out. I don't deserve to exist. Josh Widdicombe. I saw the clock. Fastest your time starts now. Now it has got a capital W. Oh, W, I. Oh, it's a word. That's a MBE. Can I have that as some of my letters? Member of the British Empire. Oh, I know what it is. Josh Whittacombe. Whittacombe? Stop the clock. Now, that was a drama school performance at the end. The holding aloft of the sword. Mm -hmm. That was worth all that money, surely. It was worth every single penny in Fantastic. three years of my life, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was your system to try and get to Whittacombe, Sam? You just have to just grab life. Yeah, you uh, listed all of the names of the people in those pictures. Yeah, yeah, and he actually worked out it was a winner of Taskmaster who wasn't amongst those pictures, so he cracked it. Mm. Can I just say I love weapons? <laughs> 
<laughs> Next up, we've seen four of our five competitors, but somehow there's still two left. That's right, it's Julie and Clary. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can I open the cracker? Yes. I found a little foot and it says Greg. Greg. <laughs> no such luck. Join the Women's Institute, darling daughter. With diamonds come bears. Plymouth Argyle Football Club. W. D. WD 40? <laughs> <laughs> Who are all these people in pictures? That's a good question. Giles, someone. Someone Giles. Nearly. That man with the teeth. Rob Beckett. Rob Beckett. Mm -hmm. They're all comedians. Yes. Well, Adrian Giles isn't. <laughs> uh -huh. Another comedian. <laughs> do I'm not supposed to know his name? Do you recognise him? I do, yes. No, he's very funny. Yeah. That face, what yeah. is his name? He's sort of small and nasally. He is small, that's exactly right, yeah. I've always liked him. Oh, any word against him? Josh? Is it a Josh? Josh? Oh. Widdicombe. Widdicombe? That was it. Fancy that coming back to me. I stopped the clock. Ooh. Oh, dear. Thank goodness. His name came to me. I've always liked his work. <laughs> Could it be fair to say you've not necessarily kept abreast with some of the more recent <laughs> comedians? I don't, I don't really watch any other comedians. I don't know why. Oh, not even that man with the teeth. <laughs> has he been on this show? He has. <laughs> and we've had Small and Nasley on. <laughs> but you got that, it came to you. It did come out from nowhere, and we were all quite relieved, cos it could have got quite awkward. <laughs> did I take any longer than the others? Well, I can tell you now. Seemed fast. Yeah. <sighs> Sue took 33 minutes, Sam 32, Lucy 28, and Susan 14. Ooh. Julian, wow. 10 minutes and 23 <gasps> seconds. Wow, lovely. Scoreboard then, please. Scoreboard, yes, it's tight. At the bottom, we have last week's winner, Sam, on five points. At the top, it's Susan Wacoma with eight points. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, let's have another one, then. You got it, Mega Mama, and I think <laughs> they're going to nail this one. Welcome. Welcome. To the lab. To the lab. Are you going to repeat everything I say? No. OK. Oh, they're already going. Uh-oh. Oh, um, OK. No sign for hello and how are you today. <laughs> no niceties. It doesn't say anything. <laughs> Just playing. <laughs> oh, make a cheeky picture on this piece of wood. There. Using nails and one continuous piece of wire. So a cheeky picture. Yes, please. Also, if any egg timers stop, you must stare at the camera, shaking your head for ten seconds. Yeah, that one did stop, so, yeah. <laughs> the best cheeky picture wins. You have 20 minutes. Sorry, Sam, the blue one's just run out of sound. Wait, what? The sound's run out. <laughs> best cheeky picture wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Hang on a minute. So I need to do a cheeky picture with wire and be looking at these guys. I know. I said it's a nightmare, but Greg wanted it done. OK, fair enough. It feels pretty straightforward. Should we just crack on? OK. Oh, I'm so sorry about my alarm. Do you know what time it is? Yes, it's time for a montage. <laughs> OK, cheeky picture with nails. I mean, we all know what it's going to be. Can you draw a penis? Can I draw a penis? Like, cos that's cheeky, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's cheeky. <laughs> Are you drawing with a nail? What else would you do to make a cheeky picture? Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, 
that's not shaking. That's shaking. What sort of people enjoy this programme? Is it students? Why is it always you? The blue sand has run out again. <laughs> oh, no. That's nodding. Any regrets about doing this series? Well, you're interesting, aren't you? Would you call yourself a charismatic man? So I can't do that. Ah, well, the sound has now stopped, so yeah, you have to do it again. An absolute piglet, like Alex Horn. I just want to get to the boobs now. Of course. I don't want it to be too phallic, so instead of testicles, I'm going to do wings. That's cheeky. <laughs> We've got the sexy dog, because we're subverting stereotypes. My art teacher would not be impressed with this. Fortunately, he's dead. <laughs> well, cheeky is an interesting debate, I think. Mm. What, what the go-to cheeky is. Well, you said, Sue, we all know what's getting drawn here. <laughs> Go to what, route one cheek. What is route one cheek? Cock and balls. It's a classic scene, but... <laughs> Susan, you did say, I just want to get to the boobs now. Yes. Mm. But then you threw in the curveball by saying, we've got a sexy dog <laughs> because we're subverting stereotypes. <laughs> Am I going to see mm. a dog with a pair of boobs? No, no, no. The boobs are separate to the dog. Oh, what do you think Cheeky is? Um, I think it's when you have your boobs out as you're feeding your dog. <laughs> it's Cheeky. It's Cheeky and it's weird. I'd like to see some cheeky art, please, Alex. Oh, of course you do, Greg. It's your sort of thing, you randy sod. <laughs> uh, the first piece of art we're going to see is Julian's. <laughs> Julian, can you explain this? Well, it was going to be a face, and in the end it became a sperm. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> no, no, it's a solitary deformed sperm, <laughs> cheeky. <laughs> Something about that laboratory place. I felt like I had gone there to make a deposit or something. It's <laughs> <laughs> best cheeky picture. So, do you think that's a good picture of a sperm? I suppose. Is... <laughs> I do not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I haven't pleased you. <laughs> Let's have a look at Sam's. <laughs> it's more recognisable as a picture. I think this is a really interesting piece. It just oozes with cheek. This is having this beautiful golden hair and what a mane, wasn't it just, just wow. Yeah. And yet this person keeps their hair secret with a giant hat and the community have no idea. <laughs> yeah. No one has seen this hair and yeah. that is cheekiness. <laughs> it's so convincing. What, what's clever is it's kind of cheeky for you to suggest that's cheeky. <laughs> Which I like. Oh, you're, you're a switched on guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Susan, I will have to explain a few elements of it, but this is, this is how it ended up. <laughs> so, on the left is a lady with, and I hate to say this phrase, boobs, <laughs> pulling uh, along a yeah. dog. Yeah. And the dog, to use her phrase, is going a bit kink. <laughs> and then she's got a cheeky bit of ocean and a cheeky oh, bit of go. hell. Oh. The red represents. <laughs> So I see cheeky lady, yes. that's a cheeky tick. Um, why is hell there? Well, hell is here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cheeky devil, that's actually a phrase. Thank God you can see the boobs, is all right. <laughs> Shall we move on to a penis with wings? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> yeah, this is what Lucy did. I mean, the, the sperm now is looking pretty good. Yeah, like you say, now looking back, I'm disgusted with myself. <laughs> you know, and I don't think I've got the wings at all. And finally, Sue Perkins, and this is more recognisable. Here we go. Cheeky. Yeah. Oh. yeah it's good. Yeah. That is... That's what we needed. If you were to take a bet beforehand, who would be the person least likely to <laughs> answer? <laughs> <laughs> that one's more shocked than I am. That's a lovely attention to detail. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope this is appropriate. A lovely girth. <laughs> so I, wanted to, I wanted to make it aspirational but attainable. Yeah. <laughs> OK, here's all five of them. Oh, God. 
<laughs> it's fairly easy to score this, isn't it? Lucy, by her own admission, hasn't done anything really. <laughs> <laughs> just put a, a, a meaningless shape on a board. Yeah. yeah. One point for Lucy. Well done, Lucy. Uh, two points, and he can thank me for it to Julian's square single sperm. <laughs> <laughs> two to Julian. Three points to Susan's floating <laughs> big boobed woman <laughs> and madness below. Uh huh. <laughs> Now then. I don't know whether I, on this occasion, can separate a blue penis <laughs> and a lady saying, Shh, I've, I've hidden my hair from you. <laughs> I'm going to give them both five points. OK, done. Five points to Sam. And Sue. Let's have one more task, please. OK, Greg, and I'm afraid the naughtiness continues. Ooh. <laughs> Julian, how's it going? It's going well. Have you come across any sort of secret tasks hidden around the house at all so far? Should I be looking out for those things? It's just what I would do. There it is. Yeah. Secret one could be anywhere, I suppose. Ah! Pardon? Well, is that the task to look for secret tasks? You can open the obvious task if you want. That's just really passive aggressive. <laughs> Make mischief. Make mischief. Secret task, secret task, secret task. <laughs> Most mischievous wins. You have a maximum of half an hour. The time starts now. What does it mean? I have unintentionally been making mischief for all of my life. Have you got an immediate instinct? Yeah. Well, there's victim-based mischief, which I do like. Wouldn't it be mischievous to say things that I'm not supposed to say? Do you think you can Is go that crazy? Like, go I love KFC! Like, cos you can't use that, cos that's mischief. I think we can use that. And then there's kind of, like, mischief that annoys a collective of people, like, running out into the road or something like that. Not in a, not in a sad way, but in a, like, aha way. I'm going to steal things off people. Car keys, socks, base maker, not base maker. <laughs> I don't know why, but the first thing that came into my mind was a portcullis. It's very hard to create in a living room. Do I have to think in here? You can think in private, Julian. I will see you in that thought. OK. Can I use your phone for a prank call? <laughs> I think everyone should know what mischief means. But I am going to ask Sue why, when you think of mischief, you think of a portcullis. <laughs> I always think, just lean into your first idea, and that was the word that came into my head. I'm going to create a portcullis. Fine. <laughs> Susan, the sentence which I do like made you look like a serial killer. Just uh, <laughs> your second idea was running into the road, but not in a sad way. <laughs> yeah, is it like a way way rather than a <laughs> way? Do you know what I mean? If we watch you run into the road now into traffic, <laughs> yeah. we'll see drivers going mischief. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to seeing the mischief. OK, will Sue Perkins find the secret task instead of doing the actual task? Will Lucy Beaumont steal a pacemaker? Let's find out right now. Hello. Hi. Come in, take a seat, put your blindfold on. Are you ready for the seance? Who's gonna come through? It's a man. He's called Simon. Simon was in marketing. Hello, Alex. I have reversed roles and set you a task. Miss Chief! Please follow the trail of lollipops. You must unwrap and put each lolly in your mouth as you go. Follow the lollies to the final destination for the ultimate mischievous surprise. Can you hear me, Simon? Hello, Lucy. Hello. How is it in heaven? It's a lot like Earth. We've got a DFS. Have you, Simon? I think this is dangerous. Simon, 
Can you tell us anything else interesting? No, that's about it. Oh, OK, then, Simon. I'm afraid it's time to go one, two, three, four. And I mocked you. I mocked you for saying think that portcullis made you think of mischief. How wrong I was. What do you think was my favourite part of your task? Well, Alex's suffering is important to you. I Very know important. And that was my second favourite thing about your response. My favourite thing was you shouting portcullis like a child. <laughs> Fantastic. Lucy, I think you were hampered by bad actors. They all look bored shitless. <laughs> I think that Lucy's idea was very creative. Yeah, because that's what they used to do, didn't they? They used to do that and then nick, nick the stuff off them. Oh, this is a historical-based response. I think so, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Who's next? <laughs> ah, OK, well, now it's Susan's attempt, but we're not going to actually see Susan, are we, Susan? No. Oh, mischief. <gasps> Here we go. <laughs> Do you want to pop in there and shut the door? In the toilet? Yeah, probably lock it. <laughs> what are you playing at? Oh. Stand up and shout mice. Whenever you see or hear mice, sit down and whisper fish. Whenever you see or hear fish. What? You've got 20 minutes and must stay in this room. Your time starts now. What the heck are you doing with that? Mice. Fish. That's a seal. Fish. Mice. Fish. Fish. Mice. Fish. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you drawing some fish? Yeah. Fish. 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 I reckon I did really well on this one. But did you have any idea that I'd smash that and start creating my own beasts? I, no, I didn't expect that at all. That was very mischievous. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just finding this out now? This lady's a nut job. <laughs> <laughs> and you invented the game. I wanted it to be, like I said, like victim based. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you were the victim. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It was, ama it was, that was amazing, but also just like, you know, lock her up. <laughs> I've never spotted that mice, fish, is an anagram of mischief. Oh! How deep does this go, Wakamba? <laughs> now here's Sam doing Sam's mischievous task for Sam. Hmm. It's okay. Time for the big prank. Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stuff. So Two things to analyse, where the mischief is and what the narrative of your performance was. <laughs> so he thinks I'm going to do a prank call. Yeah. Suddenly it's gone in the water. He goes, well, surely he's not going to smash this thing to bits with a hammer. Put it to be an effective.
active, <laughs> active mischief, you would have wanted Alex to think, oh, God, that's my phone. Yeah, I did smash his phone cover. Did you think it was your phone that went Not once. Not for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's the chief of mischief. It's Julian Clary. Dear Stephen, I think you're great. Always happy and smiling. I love all your shows, especially the one you do in car parks where you give strangers money. Congratulations on Deal or No Deal. It'll be the best. Please, can I have a signed photo? Thank you, Peter MacDonald. That's that one. Dear Jacob Rees. I think you're great, and I hope you get to be Prime Minister. You'll be the best. You'll be the best since Thatcher. Thatcher. I'm only young, but one day I want to be a politician too. Please, may I have a signed photo? Thank you. Oh, I've done, thank you. Best wishes. Best wishes, Peter MacDonald. <laughs> Mischief. Your mischief is to falsely encourage two individuals by sending a fan letter to Jacob Rees Mogg and Stephen Mulhern. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> why those two men? <laughs> I was amused by the idea that they'd write back. That's where the mischief is. Jacob Rees Mogg did write back. Are you joking? He genuinely did write back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, Stephen Monahan didn't because we didn't put enough postage on the envelope, so it, your letter got sent back to us. <laughs> and that was the end of that trail. Ah. Will you write back to him? Well, I'll wait for the next full moon. <laughs> 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 Something unspeakable may happen. <laughs> it's really <laughs> mischievous. It's brilliant. OK, look, I'll give out some points. OK. I'm only going to give Sam one point because of his phone nonsense. Fair enough. One point to you, Sam. Yeah, Lucy. I mean, I don't think it was necessarily her fault. I think the whole production was a problem. Right, OK. <laughs> I'm going to give her two points. OK, well done, Lucy. <laughs> I don't think there's any serious intent to upset Jacob Rees-Mogg or Stephen <laughs> Mulhern. <laughs> Therefore, three points to Julian. OK. It was great innocence and mischief in making you eat a load of lollies <laughs> and then trapping you with a portcullis. <laughs> and let's never forget the cry of portcullis! <laughs> <laughs> From five-year-old Sue. She four gets points. four points. OK, well done, Sue. The most mischievous was Susan's. So, five points to Susan. Five points to Susan! Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the scores. We can, with a massive 16 points, the leader at the moment is Susan Wakoma. <laughs> right, will you all please head to the stage for the final task of the show? <laughs> Hello there, Sonny Jim, who will be reading this task out. This time, Sue Perkins shall read the task out. Sue Perkins, take it away. Write down one thing you like and one thing you don't like. You have 30 seconds. So you have a little whiteboard to your left and a pen on the floor. Something you like, something you don't like. 30 seconds starts now. <laughs> nice and big, nice and clear. Ooh. That's the first part of the task done. Oh, no. Now, Sue. <laughs> Please don't say draw it. <laughs> oh. I know. Draw your two things. <laughs> at the same time, you must be drawing with both hands and stare at the taskmaster <laughs> throughout. <laughs> Best pair of pictures oh. wins! If we're going to have the thing you do like on your right-hand side and the thing you don't like on the left, that'd be nice. Greg, it's your job to keep them looking at you. Good luck. Your time starts. <laughs> <laughs> don't glass. Don't you glass. <laughs> and ideally, you're drawing at the I same time with both your hands. <laughs> both at the same time, doing. I know, what's that? It's impossible. No. Sam, Sam. How are you? Eyes on the prize. Yes, sir. <laughs> I see you. Both see hands you. drawing, please. Oh, shit. Sam, uh, uh, I don't think that can be better. Five seconds. <laughs> Four, three, three two, two, one. No. And stop. stop. Are you expecting great works of art, Greg? I really am not. <laughs> so, please, 
Julian, show Greg both your pictures at once. <laughs> what do you think he's drawn, Greg? Uh, I'm sort of a bit disturbed that the one on the right looks a bit like me. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Is it Jacob Rees-Mogg and <laughs> Stephen Mulhern? <laughs> Lisa, would you like to reveal your drawings? Both at the same time if you can, or not, it's fine. <laughs> well, that's a strong hope. That... You can tell what they are, though, can't you? I can't even tell if they're a creature or a plant. Lucy, do you want to show us on your board what you wrote? Sorry, my right. I've not got very good writing. Peas and cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> Peas aren't bad. OK. Sam Campbell. Hi, Sam. Reveal your drawings at once, please. Oh, wow. It looks like keys. So, wow, they're, they're That's falling. Just... Yeah. Like uh, meteorites? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much. Tell me and I'll decide if they're better than Lucy's peas. World cinema. <laughs> and negative gearing. I don't know what negative gearing is. It's to do with people like flipping houses. <laughs> it's a situation where expenses associated with an asset, including interest expenses, are greater than the income earned from the asset. And he's trying to represent that with his picture there. <laughs> These are gears and they're falling, yeah. But how the hell am I going to score that? <laughs> do you want to move on to Sue Perkins? Yeah. <sighs> oh, wow. Right, now they're oh. good in that I can see they're people. Are they people? That does look a bit like Jacob Reese Mogg, but it isn't him. Tell me. Um, it's Stephen Mohern and Jacob Reese Mogg. <laughs> I said Jacob Reese Mogg. Very clever. Susan, reveal your drawings, please. There we go. <clears throat> Is that the big boom woman in the sexy dog <laughs> No. That's a person, that, that's yes. a tick. Do you want to give me any clues? One person is, is doing something and the other person has an attribute that I don't like. This one's walking a dog? No. <laughs> Just tell me. OK, so that's, that's dancing, cos that's a music sign. Yes. And then this is um, uh, sweaty backs. So that was, like, the back. <laughs> and that was the sweat. But I, I didn't get it outside the circumference of the person cos I couldn't see. Yeah. All right, Greg, you've got ten beautiful pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Whilst I admire the creativity, I didn't recognise either thing in Sam's drawing. So I can only give Sam one point. No problem. Lucy, I give two points to because I recognise that those were peas. And she's very pleased with the points. Thank yeah. you. Who's next? Susan, because I'd, I recognised they were people, but I didn't know that there was a sweaty-backed person there. <laughs> or any dancing going on. Three, Three points. points. Susan. OK, lovely. Uh, I guessed only one of Sue's, Jacob Rees-Mogg and Stephen Mulhern's tribute, so she must have four points. Mm -hmm. And the winner, cos I guess both of them, is Julian Clary with five points. Congratulations, Julian Clary. Five points. Please, we'll add that to the final score. Come back down and join me. <laughs> Well, that was some pretty high up tame drawing. Well, they did well. Julian did the best, so well done, Julian. Five points to you. But the other scores means that the final league table looks like this. <gasps> Sue and Susan both have 19 <gasps> points. Oh. <laughs> We're going to have to do a tiebreak, then. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't like these. And this tiebreak is a numbers tiebreak oh. where they simply had to learn pi to the most decimal places. Mm. They are two minutes, so here they are doing the pi break. There it is. Oh, what? That's pi. So you want me to learn that? I'm terrible at things like this. Mm. <laughs> at least can I have my pi back? Thank you, Sue. At least can you tell me the number pi? 3.141592653539897893. The end. Please shoot up to celebrate with your silly signing! <laughs> so, what have we learned today? We've learned that the meaning of words can change. Who knew a big square sperm could mean cheeky? Who knew that it could also mean concealing your hair under a hat? <laughs> Mischief, on the other hand, has only one clear definition. Mischief. A grown woman excitedly shouting the word portcullis. <laughs> Please give one more round.
round of applause for tonight's winner. She is Sue Packin. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>